Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com, a Monday update. We're going to talk about Sunday NFL. We're going to give you the Monday Nighter, an opinion on the Monday Night game. This is not a game I put out for clients. And we're going to talk about, well, let's talk about what's going on tomorrow. Uh, college basketball starts, and we're looking forward to it. Been working on it for almost four months. Ready to go. Brought on a new staff capper for the Arsenal. Going to do a lot of very small conference stuff. We're going to be able to cherry pick the books for some good money this year. So get ready. On Tuesday, check out the website for updates. The link's in the description below. Go get a package and take 60 bucks off with the free 60 we offer you. Um, also today, four-unit NBA best bet, four-unit NHL best bet. Come on, Doc Sports. Go 2-0 and today. Uh, yesterday, briefly in the NFL, what a bloodbath. Especially like survivor pools got crushed. Uh, I had made a comment on uh, Twitter yesterday about surviving with Baltimore. That was a good news, bad news deal. Somebody was giving me some a rash and a crap on there about you don't care about your playing paying clients. You were patting yourself on the back for surviving sur circus survivor pool because you had Baltimore. I was just making light of the fact that 45% of the field got wiped out with yesterday's results. And I was just lucky to have Baltimore. I wasn't patting myself on the back. I was lucky to win it. You know, read between the lines. But at the end of the day, yes, we went two and two yesterday. And I feel not grateful, but lucky to have gone two and two on such a day. We had the over in the Cleveland-Cincinnati game. What happened to Cincinnati last two weeks? Wow. 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 We also had the Chargers, both winners. We had the Ravens, which was a loser. That was a six-unit pick. And we had New Orleans tied up in a teaser with the Ravens again because I love the Raisin, Ravens. I had two dimes on them personally. Stung. Minus three units. We'll do better next week, but it was one of those days. And you're going to have them in the NFL. Bills. What? You can't score a touchdown against Jacksonville? Saints? Play some... Be bragging about the Saints defense. How's that last minute defense working out for you, huh? Just saying. I mean, they were upset. I got a ration of crap in the comments section. I didn't put a lot of it up. How crazy I was saying to take Tennessee plus the points in the 8-8 eight eight video with Scott Spritzer. We didn't need them. LA hadn't played anybody. I said it right in the video. They hadn't played anybody. Was Tennessee done? I don't know. Played four playoff teams and beat them straight up and against the spread, all of them. One of them without Derrick Henry. They're more than Derrick Henry. Tennessee's a good football team. Period. It's a good football team. Very well coached. You know, there's just crazy. Re Everybody's on Kansas City yesterday. Kansas City can't stop anybody. Now, Green Bay wasn't going to put up many points. I told you on the 8-8 eight eight video, take the under. Drop from 50, 55 to 48 and it's still not enough. Can't see. Now, they had 273 yards there. Green Bay's success this year, I know about Aaron Rodgers being, you know, the all-state savior to, you know, the quarterback position in the NFL and whatever. You know, and I don't care what your politics are. I don't care what you think about. Well, he said this about the vaccine. He did that. He did the other thing. And, the, you know, he's buddies with Joe Rogan. And they both, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. Who cares? Who cares? They can't win without him. If you're a Packer fan, put all that stuff aside. Because if you don't have him, you ain't going to win. Because Jordan Love played a bad defense, and he's not ready for the NFL yet. No. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can say about yesterday in the NFL. Uh, we went 2-2 two and two and lost three units, and we'll move on. The NFL line report will be tomorrow. Uh, college basketball, some updates on that will be tomorrow. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Um, over at the website, so be sure and check it out. Um, leave your comments about your bad beat over the weekend, whether it was college or pro. Leave it in the comments section. I'll respond if it's, you know, once I weed out the F-bombs and the links to porn sites they want to put in here because you're all dudes basically watching these, 90% of you or more. Uh, competitors putting links to go get their picks because they, for whatever reason, want to not do their own homework, whatever. That being said, leave your comments and we'll comment on them. What was your bad beat? Trust me, there was a ton of them, especially in teasers yesterday. Big time. Big time. 
That being said, this game tonight, um, the, the line is shot up to Pittsburgh minus seven at home against the Bears, and the total is 39 and a half. Well, let me ask you a couple questions. Let me make a couple statements. Do you really feel comfortable laying seven with anything on Monday Night Football after what you witnessed yesterday? And then what in the hell is Pittsburgh doing laying seven to anybody? Pittsburgh's not a good football team. Neither is Chicago, but in a battle of uglies, you're always going to take the, the, the points. Pittsburgh is a home favorite their last six games. 0-6 oh, against the spread. All four of their wins this year, single possession scores. Two of their three losses they were favored in. You're laying seven? Wow. Good luck. I'm not laying seven with them. They're at home? Okay. Tom on a better coach than Nagy? Yeah. The one thing I have noticed about Chicago is Chicago's defense is going to give them problems. Chicago's going to be able to run the ball better than Pittsburgh with success, eat clock. And the one thing, whether you've looked at it or not, Justin Fields has gotten better for Chicago each and every game he's played in. Has he made rookie mistakes? Yeah. Did Troy Aikman make rookie mistakes? Dan Marino, John Elway, Joe Montana, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott. Drew Brees, go back. They make rookie mistakes when they're rookies. No, we're not in the Big Ten anymore. No, we're not playing Purdue. You know, you're in the NFL now, which stands not for long unless you, you know, start to adapt. And he's starting to adapt, and he's making some plays, and he's a dangerous cat, you know, period. I know he's not expertly coached by Nagy with play calling and stuff like that, but, you know, run the ball, short possession passes, uh, play action. You know, keep it interesting. I'm not laying seven with Pittsburgh. I can only take it tonight. Bear in mind, this is a free play. This is not something you put two dimes on and unload on. Play catch up if you got your rear end handed to you yesterday. Don't do it. But for a small wager to make it interesting, I'll take the seven and the Bears tonight. 